8. Ooh Barracuda In July 2010, 14-year-old Corral Weira went along on a fishing trip with her parents and her family friend in the Gulf of Mexico near the Venice Inlet in Florida. According to reports from the Sarasota Herald Tribune, she was sitting in their boat and was enjoying herself when out of nowhere, a 45-inch barracuda jumped out of the water and attacked her. Her family stated that the fish soared across the boat like a bullet and then clamped itself on the young girl's arm. The fish flopped into the boat after dropping from her arm as her mother and friend climbed on top of chairs and screamed. Luckily, Weira's father was armed with a filet knife and was ready for action. When the opportunity presented itself and the fish wasn't moving around too much, he stabbed the barracuda in the eye. After it was all over, the floor of the boat was stained with a mixture of Weira and the fish's blood. They were done fishing after that, and Weira's father cut the anchor with his knife and hurried them back to shore. They said that her arm looked like a raw hamburger after she was bitten. The bite wounds extended from just below her elbow to the middle of her bicep and required a total of 51 stitches to close. However, the girl was tough and she was more frightened from the incident than the pain. Weira has now made a full recovery, but she'll surely remember this event for the rest of her life. 7. Lemur Attack Lemurs typically only eat nuts, fruits, and insects, but sometimes they can get a taste for human flesh. This next story comes to us from 21-year-old Miami resident Victoria Valador. It was July 2016, and the young woman had been visiting her grandparents' house when they noticed the ring-tailed lemur sitting outside the residence on top of some trash cans. Victoria's younger sister Isabella snapped some pictures of the animal since they're typically only found on the island of Madagascar. They thought it was a little odd that a lima would be in Florida, but some locals in the area had permits for wild animals, and this little guy had apparently escaped from his owners somehow. When Victoria was leaving the house, she stopped for a moment to admire the creature, but then, in the blink of an eye, the lima had jumped on top of her. She was able to put her arm up to protect her face, but the lima bit her multiple times along her wrist. Victoria's grandmother Celia Roden witnessed the whole event in disbelief. The animal clung onto the girl for a solid minute before Celia coaxed the lemur away with a banana. When she was finally free from the small primate, she ran to the other side of the street and called 911. Before crews from the Miami-Dade Fire Rescue and Florida Fish and Wildlife arrived on the scene, the animal went after Victoria a second time. While she was standing by a tree recovering from the first attack, the lemur walked by and bit her again. She ran away from the creature, however, it followed right behind her. Victoria managed to get back inside her grandparents' home, but she basically had to slam the door in the lemur's face to keep it from coming into the building. After the whole ordeal was over and the primate was removed from the property, Victoria had her wrists bandaged up. As a result of the attack, she had to undergo a series of more than 40 rabies shots. The woman was later interviewed by news channel CBS4 and recounted the experience as one of the scariest things she's ever been through. Victoria was happy, though, it happened to her and not one of the neighborhood kids, because it could have been a lot worse than it was. 6. Rude Goat An elderly gentleman in his 60s was minding his own business taking a nature walk when a goat took out its aggression on him. This event took place in late January 2021 in Labstone, Australia. As you may already know, this continent is known for its biological diversity. It's home to many dangerous animals such as kangaroos, wombats, koalas, dingoes, bats, and apparently goats. The man was walking near the Knapsack Viaduct to Glenbrook, which is close to the eastern end of the Blue Mountains. This 3,861 square mile area is claimed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site and is only about a two-hour drive to the west of Sydney, New South Wales. The unidentified old man was bushwalking, also known as off-trail hiking, when the goat appeared and rammed into his leg. After he was hit with the full force of the goat, he fell to the ground. Paramedics were called to the scene and three crews arrived to assess the injuries to his leg. As medical professionals worked on him, the goat was still lurking in some tall grass behind them, watching everything unfold. Eventually, the man was moved to an ambulance where he was taken to the Nepian Hospital in Kingswood. Nine News reported on the event and stated that he was in a stable condition after the attack. It was unclear if the goat was provoked in any way, 
However, this story might make you think twice before visiting a petting zoo anytime in the near future. 5. Dangerous Zebra In 2013, a veteran shopkeeper that's handled dangerous animals for most of his life was attacked by a 900-pound zebra when it somehow got out of its stall. Wayne Miller had been a zookeeper for 26 years and was working at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C. when the incident took place. He was close to retirement and had worked with cheetahs and tigers in the past with no incidents. However, on November 18, 2013, that would all change. Milner was working alone in Holding Yard K when one of the male gravy zebras attacked him out of nowhere. The animal had apparently let himself out of his stall, which has since been deemed a result of human error. The keeper forgot to follow proper procedures when exiting the zebra area and had apparently left one of the gates open, allowing the animal to roam free. The zoo stated that staff and a volunteer keeper aide were able to rescue the man by distracting the zebra and leading it to a more secure location. Miller was hospitalized with severe injuries after the attack. And even though this event was most likely traumatic for the man, when he recovered, he went right back to work. One year after the ordeal, Milner agreed to an interview with ABC7 News, and he publicly thanked the doctors who saved his life. The man also recalled his story and said the fight with the zebra only lasted about five minutes, but the animal did a lot of damage in that little time. He said he felt like something was wrong when the zebra bit off his ear, and that's when he knew he was in the fight of his life. In his statement, he said he didn't blame the animal at all for what happened and that he thinks he was just trying to play. After all, he was in the zebra's space and wasn't supposed to be there, and he takes full responsibility for the consequences of his actions. Milner's doctors told him he was lucky to be alive after the striped creature literally ripped chunks of flesh off the man from his leg, arm, abdomen, and ear. 4. Gang of Otters a British man living in Singapore was attacked by a group of otters in late 2021 while he was walking to the Singapore Botanic Gardens with one of his friends. Graham George Spencer, in his 60s, spoke with the Straits Times and told them about his utterly terrifying experience with these little creatures. The attack took place on November 30th, and he told them, I actually thought I was going to die. They were going to kill me. You may think that there's no way an otter could really do that much damage, but imagine 20 of them attacking you at one time. Spencer was approaching the visitor's center when he noticed a gang of otters running across a shaded path in front of him. He stated that this was the first time he'd ever witnessed the mustelids in the area, even though he'd been taking his morning walks there for the last five months. He said the incident went south when a jogger ran through the gang, which made the fish eaters go crazy like rabid dogs. Once they were triggered, they went after people nearby and tried to bite them. Spencer was then targeted by the otters, and he thought they might have mistook him for the runner that had initially aggravated them. He claimed that the sea weasels hit his ankles over and over. They also managed to push the man down to the floor before leaping on top of him, and then proceeded to bite around his shoes, legs, buttocks, and fingers. Spencer said that in 10 seconds, he was bitten 26 times by the critters. His friend that was with him was able to distract the otters long enough for Spencer to make a run for it, and then they both headed for the visitor's center with the gang in hot pursuit behind them. Once inside, a guard treated his wounds with bandages. The man apparently refused an ambulance and instead opted to walk himself to a hospital, which was right across the street. Doctors gave Spencer tetanus shots as well as oral antibiotics before stitching up his wounds, but he was released the same day. Although the incident was not ideal, Spencer felt lucky to be alive and he's grateful for his friend, which he believes saved his life. 3. Feral Hogs A caretaker for an older couple from Texas was mauled by a herd of feral hogs as she arrived for work in November 2019. Christine Rollins had just stepped out of her white sedan after pulling up to the house of the elderly couple she was employed by. She was one of three caretakers who worked regular 12- to 14-hour shifts, taking care of the 79-year-old wife and the 84-year-old husband, who both apparently suffered from memory loss. Rollins was walking up to the home, but was stopped by a mob of feral hogs just steps away from the front door. She was attacked by the giant pigs and, unfortunately, did not survive. 
The medical examiner determined the cause of death to be exsanguination due to feral hog assault, which means that she suffered severe blood loss as a result of the incident. Her body was found a short time later on the front lawn by one of the homeowners that had gone to check why Rollins hadn't come inside at her usual time. Chambers County Sheriff Brain C. Hawthorne stated that it was clear from the woman's injuries that she tried to fight back against the beasts. However, there was a variety of different sized bite wounds leading investigators to believe that there had definitely been more than one hog. These animals can weigh anywhere from 200 to 500 pounds, which would be hard for anyone to fight off if multiple were attacking you at once. 2. Mad Penguin Penguins are typically mild-natured and are more occupied with building and protecting their nests than they are with humans. However, sometimes curiosity gets the better of them. In January of 2017, photographer Lauren Farmer went on an expedition to West Point Island in the Falkland Islands. This place is recognized as an important bird area by the BirdLife International and is a known breeding ground for megalanic and rockhopper penguins. 34-year-old farmer was walking through the grass when a curious rockhopper seemed to take an interest in her. The flightless bird apparently followed her for about 15 minutes, pecking at her shoes as it trailed behind her. She was able to take some amazing photos of the penguin as it began turning its attention on the woman's camera and equipment. It jabbed its beak into her lens multiple times, exposing its sharp, tooth-like barbs on the inside of its mouth. Farmer knew the penguins liked to use their beaks to inspect objects, so she wasn't surprised when it dropped its nesting material and tried to eat her phone instead. She wasn't scared of the animal, in fact she was thrilled that she was able to catch the ordeal on camera. Even though rockhoppers have an alarming appearance with their piercing red eyes and spiky hair, they're mostly harmless. Farmer didn't sustain any injuries from the incident and is thankful that none of her equipment was damaged. She was also excited to tell her friends and family about her vicious penguin attack story. 1. Cassowary Claws A cassowary is a giant flightless bird native to Papua New Guinea and Australia. Even though they're known as one of the world's most dangerous birds, some people still attempt to tame them. One such man from northern Florida, who is not named in the article, owned one of these feathered creatures and kept it on his property near Gainesville. These birds are quite similar to emus and can grow up to 6 feet tall and can weigh upwards of 130 pounds. On top of their massive size, these birds have on average 10 centimeter claws on each foot. According to the San Diego Zoo's website, a cassowary can slice open any predator with just one swift kick. They have very powerful legs that can carry the animal up to 31 miles per hour, even through dense forest underbrush. Unfortunately, the wild nature of this bird could not be contained, and his owner was found dead on his property in April 2019. Reports from the fire rescue department in Alachua County stated that the incident looked like an accident and the man must have fallen at some point near the bird, instigating the attack. Wildlife officials said that the owner of the cassowary had apparently been breeding the birds. While this is a terrible tragedy, this story is a reminder that when you put a wild animal in a cage, it's just a matter of time before it fights back. Events like this one are often unpredictable, and in many cases, they're deadly. Maybe wild animals should stay that way, out of captivity and out of harm's way. Would you rather fight off a gang of otter-sized horses or one big horse-sized otter? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.